Good morning, sisters. And all our sisters and friends who are live streaming from all different parts of the globe. On this International Women's Day, with the theme, Choose to Challenge. We recall the many women who challenge our world, letting their voices be heard today, every day, and in the past, those on whose shoulders we stand. We remember especially the first five sisters missioned by Mary Aikenhead, whose picture we have here in our sacred space. It's a gift from our founding congregation and it captures all of our faces. Our prayer today will be very familiar to you. It is the chapter prayer inspired by our chapter logo with the spirit over the world, also here in our sacred space. So often we have prayed it together in our Zoom sessions and I'm sure many times individually. But today we are invited to pray it very reflectively with images and with the addition of a prayer used on Akrath Prayer Day, Can You See Me? We will join together at the beginning and ending parts, also the refrain in the Akrath Prayer. But all the middle part will be single voices. So we pray we begin and pray together. Ever creating God, your encompassing spirit invites us into your love, your mystery, your generosity and your yearning for our world. Your providence has guided us to this moment. We give you thanks for all that has been and all that awaits us. We pray that each sister of charity will be courageous, honest and generous in listening to your spirit who continues to guide us so that we can bring your love into our world. We unite with our sisters and brothers throughout the world. Those who live in freedom. Those struggling for freedom. Those who eat and are satisfied. Those who are malnourished and underfed. Those who care for our planet, those who pillage and destroy our earth.
those who have more than enough, those who have little or nothing. Those who live and work on the land, those who have no land. Those who are chronically ill, those without access to health care and medication. those who are abused. Those who work for justice. Can you see me in the things that you purchase, in the place where the prices there suit you well? Can you imagine the place where I am working? No food and no breaks, in the sweatshop that's hell. Can you see me? Can you see me in the shadows and darkness where my body is sold for minutes and hours? Can you imagine the suffering in sex trade where dreams are stolen and so is my power? Can you see me? Look, look, 
and don't turn away. I'm calling to you and just want to say, see all you can and tell others about me and help to bring freedom, justice for all. Can you see me? Can you see me in the sweat and the struggle, 300 feet down at the face of a mine? My parents owe money and this is their payment. A slave for a son and I'm only nine. Can you see me? Can you see me? I am here all around you. I don't say a word in case I'm ill-treated. A servant who should know just where her place is, 24-7 to do what is ordered. Can you see me? Can you see me in the fields of the farmers who bribed us to be there and won't set us free? Back-breaking work, no matter the weather. Picking and packing your fruit and your vegetables. Can you see me? Can you see me in the shed by the highway where people are harvested for body parts? My brother lost eyes and I gave a kidney. The dead are just dumped like trash from a cart. Can you see me? I'm all around you, hidden from vision, wondering if I will ever be free, longing for life and for chains to be burned, longing for sunlight, for justice and peace. Can you see me? And we pray together. May our 28th general chapter be a time of challenge and renewal. May we see, hear and respond to all that you are calling us to be in this time of great change in our world and in our church. As we live under the shadow of your wings, 
May our hearts be open, our minds enlarged, and our spirits inspired. Providence is within us. Providence will continue to shine a light upon us. Providence will take us to where God is leading us. Venerable Mary Aikenhead, pray for us. Amen.